Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Minecraft. I actually surprised myself because I forgot <laughs> that I left the cave and came up on this big pillar. Um, I was expecting darkness, and I got this nice, beautiful vista. It's lovely. So today I'm going to be exploring the cave... In the last episode, I had blocked off a lot of the big scary entrances with the big scary monsters. And today I'm going to be encountering, taking on those big scary monsters with snowballs. I should get some, actually. They're cute. I love that you can collect snowballs and throw them at things. That's just adorable. So I marked off the, this weird entrance to the cave and put a big pillar with a torch on top. Just in case I'm ever out on the overworld again. Um, this entrance really is back there somewhere through the woods. I'm not exactly sure. But um, this was one of the side things we went down. And it had um, it had daylight. So I just wanted to come down here and see what happened. What it was. And it turns out it was an exit. Um, there were a couple comments on my last video that it was too dark, which, watching it on my other computer, on my laptop, I'm recording this on my desktop PC, and when I was watching it on my laptop, I noticed, I agreed, it was really dark, and when I looked at the settings, I actually saw that I had it set to moody, which is as dark as the game can get, so I apologize for that. This, I turned it up from moody to 50%, so hopefully, it's a little better. It's honestly not a noticeable difference for me playing the game. Um, it's so bright anyway. This monitor is so bright. I'm used to everything being really bright and doesn't really bother me. I kind of like having the game brighter. I can see everything better. It sounds like there's a skeleton over here. Where is? Where are you? Oh, this is a dead end. Um, the other thing I noticed in my last video was after I had finished recording it, I noticed that the sound of my computer fan was being picked up a lot in the microphone in the background. I'm not sure why that is. I mean, it's loud. <laughs> it's 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 a uh, it's hot in my room. I have all the air conditioning and the fans turned off so that the audio doesn't come through in, in the microphone. So it is kind of hot. I guess the fans are working overtime. But um, I didn't notice ever notice that before, so I have the gain turned down on my microphone today. I'm going to edit it. Oh, creeper. Creeper and a, creeper and a spider. Creeper and a spider. I'll talk in a second. Thank you, creeper, for that help in killing the spider. That was very nice of you. Is that where I came from? Oh, jeez. My, my caving sense is already off. This is where I came from. And this is... what's down here? This is a dead end? This is... not a dead end. This is... just more to explore. Okay. I'm going back to the entrance, and I'm gonna start from there. The main entrance where I have my little base. I'm gonna start from there and work my way through. So before I got attacked by those things, I think I was talking about audio. I have the gain changed on the microphone. Hopefully it doesn't... Hopefully my voice isn't too quiet. I'm going to do my best to check in post-production. Post-production, by which I mean throwing the video in Adobe Premiere <laughs> and exporting it. I'm going to check and make sure that hopefully it's not too quiet, at least too much quieter than the last video, because I think the levels were good. It was just a- ah! ah! I need to pay attention more. That was really scary. I'm sorry for yelling. Um, so yeah, I just want to make sure everything's good. I'm going to stop rambling about, uh, about technical stuff. It's not really very interesting. Um, so yeah. But let me know if anything looks good or looks good or looks bad, or if there's anything you think could be improved about the video quality. I want to make sure everything looks as good as possible. I'm actually not recording in 1080p today. I'm only recording in 720. I think maybe because of the heat, 
or something when I tried to record a 1080 I was getting all kinds of weird graphical glitches which does happen occasionally on computers so I think that's probably why that happened and unfortunately I just couldn't get a solid recording so I'm recording in 720 today it looks fine really I I feel like my internet connection is pretty good <laughs> and I've never really been able to watch videos in 1080 they just load so slow so hopefully that's not a problem for anybody I wish I could be uploading in 1080 all the time but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen today unfortunately so we're gonna go clockwise here's the entrance that little staircase is up to my base in air quotes my my furnace and crafting bench that's the entirety of my base so I'm gonna go clockwise around this room and explore the different areas I've locked off so this is first oh boy <laughs> the game is bound and determined to destroy my plan of orderly exploration this is a big scary pit I'm gonna block that off this gravel will be nice to have in case I need to go down a huge hill or something if you don't know a lot of the mechanics of Minecraft I don't know if you if you don't play a lot or or something um, gravel and sand are the only two blocks in the game that have gravity so if you put any other block down and there's nothing underneath it it'll just stay there hover it in midair like this but if you put gravel in midair, it'll fall. That's not gravel. That's cobble. I'm, I couldn't be doing this demonstration in a worse place. It's water. Okay. If you put gravel, it'll fall until it hits the ground. So gravel is really useful if you're trying to explore something from up really high and you don't want to make a staircase down. What you can do instead is gravel down basically drop gravel down the side and it'll fall and pile up and then you can get on your pillar of gravel and dig down in fact I'm gonna do that right now because it's it is really handy oh one too many and now dig down and I'm here actually in case anything scary happens I'm going to make myself a way up anyway just because I don't want to be stuck trying to run away and have to dig my way up while I'm while I'm scared because when you're scared you panic and when you panic you click on everything and then you don't dig up what you're looking for I would really like some arrows skeletons oh I'm sorry I'm sorry little bat I didn't you sweat flew right into the lava okay I want to get that coal <laughs> I'm still really going with the caving method of get everything mine all the things as they say on the internet mine all the things because you never know when you're gonna need coal I really hope the lava doesn't flow down that oh god And also with mine all the coal is get all the XP, which could be handy. If I want to enchant something, which would be exciting because like I said, I've never enchanted anything before. Uh-oh. It looks like I'm getting some graphics things again. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, hopefully it should be okay. If that, con if that continues, I'm going to have to close the game for a bit and see what's going on. I don't think that skeleton is gonna shoot me. I really hope not. That would be sad. There's iron up there. That's good. This lava is making me nervous. But that's okay. That's okay for now. Oh! Iron. Surprise, iron. Iron. 
Oh, surprise lots of iron. Awesome. How much iron do I have? I have 50 blocks of iron. Wow. That uh, that may need another time lapse for iron cooking. If we can't find something else to do while that's going on. I do, in addition to, ooh, in addition to exploring this cave, I may, ah, ah, I don't have a water bucket. Oh no, I'm, go oh no. Oh, there was water, where was the water? The water was up here. See, this is why I wanted to run away quickly. And, well, that was unnecessary. Now I'm not on fire. You know what, I'm actually, now that that just happened, I'm gonna go back and make some buckets. Where are they coming? I think they're coming from in there. Oh boy, oh, okay. Well, first I'm gonna patch up my, my totally Swiss cheese-like monster wall. And then I'm gonna cook this iron and make some buckets. Oh, they're every- they're coming from every- literally everywhere. That is- is the most useless wall. I may have called it that in the last episode. I didn't realize how true that was. That is the most useless wall. I'm gonna block this off completely. I actually- do I want this blocked off completely? Oh boy. Oh, 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 that's really terrifying. Holy crap, is that a skeleton in armor? Did I get some? That enchanted helmet would be nice. Oh, dinner bone. Dinner bone. Why did the skeletons get so hard? In case that was really strange sounding to you, dinner bone is one of the developers working on Minecraft, and the skeletons have recently gotten very hard to melee. They cha He changed the balance of the skeletons so that they shoot really quickly with the closer you get to them. They have like a rapid fire shot. So they're really hard to kill with melee. You're supposed to kill them with a bow, but I don't have any arrows. So what I'm gonna do before I go explore that place with that lava that I'm afraid of, is I'm gonna cook this iron and make a bucket, a couple buckets. Got a lava bucket and a water bucket so that I can conquer the lava a little more effectively. Hopefully, I'm sorry for the graphics glitches. That's making me a little nervous about my PC. If anybody knows anything about that, about how to make that stop happening, Please let me know. I don't know if you see exactly what I'm talking about. Every once in a while, there's like crazy spiky things that come up through the world. Maybe I'll point it out next time. The only reason that I think it's a graphics card sort of overheating problem is that when I was first trying to, there we go. Well, that was a perfect example. When I first was trying to overclock my PC, I, for the record, it's not, the graphics card is not overclocked anymore. That's, that would be the most obvious reason for graphics problems. When I first was trying to overclock it, I noticed that when I turned the speed up, that would start happening in games, that like kind of crazy 3D spiky effect. So I don't want to, I don't want that to keep happening. Heat is bad for computers and... I like my computer. It's new and fun. Oh, I can make a bow. Great. Uh, how do you make a bow? It's string. Stick, stick, stick. Yeah, cool. I don't need this one. Arrows. I want more arrows. I don't think I had any feather. I do. I have feathers. Sweets. Uh, six feather. Six, well, but I need sticks first. Um, I need six sticks. Six sticks, okay. Well, that's good for now. Once I need more food, I'll probably go outside and um, kill some chickens. 
maybe make a farm that kind of I am covered in arrows that's really funny I'm also the game is glitching out like crazy I'm going to stop recording and see if I can figure out what's going on also let this iron finish cooking so I can make tools and all kinds of stuff so I will be back shortly hey guys all right I'm back so I learned a couple things while I was gone one I don't understand how recording works and video resolution <laughs> so I was pl I set minecraft and magic launcher to play at 720p or at 720 and then when I opened fraps I full screened the game and since my screen resolution is 1080 it made a 1080 again so I've been recording a 1080 and I didn't even realize it so that could be the problem as far as the like weird video glitches it seems to have settled down maybe it's because I turned the game off for a while and let things cool off hopefully it's okay um, I don't really want my computer to freak out too much and overheat because that would be bad um, where's this water coming from? Can I take it? Cool. So, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, while I was figuring that out, I also smelted enough iron to make a bunch more tools and a couple buckets. So, I have a water bucket now. Of course, it's not gonna help me if I jump down things like an idiot. I also made some arrows. So I can uh, take these skeletons out from a distance. That's nice. Um, and I'm going to explore now that I'm done freaking out about my computer for the moment. I want to get this lava. Oh, I can just... Well, that's not how that works at all. That's not... Oh, wow. Well, that was dumb. So apparently, I don't. <laughs> I've been watching Ultra Hardcore, as I know that I've shared. And when they explore caves, they uh, have their lava and they dump it on the ground and it turns into obsidian and it's all, all peachy. I, <laughs> oh my god. Um, I dump my water on the ground and turn all the lava to cobblestone, and I forgot to pick up my water source again. So, oh, there's some water here. Maybe I can, okay, here we go. There's a water source. That was extremely foolish and probably hilarious. I'd learned this, I didn't understand how this worked for a while because I know a cobblestone generator, you have water and lava and they mix together and they make cobblestone. So I never quite understood why when you're caving, if you dump lava, water on the ground, um, if you dump water on the ground, it makes obsidian. And I'm still not quite 100% sure on why that is, what the difference is. I could probably Google it. I think my friend today, I asked him and he told me it has something to do with the water flowing and or not flowing oh boy oh no 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 don't what he's gonna shoot me right into the i didn't even shoot at the right thing where is the skeleton oh god why did i jump that was really stupid where was he shooting me from over here oh that's my oh ah oh no That was mildly frightening. Mildly. Only a little tiny bit mildly frightening. You jerk. Well, that's good to know, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I, I, <laughs> I just jumped so much in my chair. Oh, and now I'm getting, sh I'm getting shot by his ghost. 
I forgot that that happened. Whoa! Where is- where- where are all these mobs coming from? I did not light this up very well at all, did I? Alright. I am a bad caver. I'm gonna go around... I think that's here. Okay, well, it's good to know at least that those connect. So I don't... This is the ravine, right? Yeah. So I don't have two things to worry about. It's just one. So that's good. I probably could have lit this up better if there's skeletons just spawning everywhere. That's actually a downside to having a monitor that's really bright. Is you can't tell when things are properly lit up. Like, I thought that this was totally bright enough for there to be no mobs, but apparently that skeleton disagreed with me. Although, actually, he could have come from over there in the dark spot. Now that I think about it, that's more likely. Okay, what I was trying to do... What I was trying to do before I got the pants scared off of me was get this lava in a bucket so that I can go all zisto on any on any enemies and I put up this pillar so it should be safe for me to pillar down hopefully the lava doesn't spread or anything and I will continue there's a spider all right I really need to light up the cave more, though. I don't know why I... I guess that's a bad habit when you learn from watching UHCs. Nah, forget it. I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna go roll into dark. And, you know, the viewers don't have to see anything, and I don't have to see anything, and... It's all good. It's not. It's not all good. <laughs> I don't like having to be afraid of everything as I play. Okay. He sees me. Wow, I hit him? Oh, I can zoom with Optifine. That's cheating. That's way too low. Um, yeah. Oh, that was... That was... That was beautiful. Oh, there's coal all over the place. Is this really a ravine? I mean, it's like... It's not... There's lava. I don't know... Oh, how did my sword get on the bar? Um... I know that there's... Like, certain levels where different ores are supposed to be able to spawn, and... Gold level, and diamond level, and... And so on and so forth. And I'm not really sure what they are, what the numbers are. I could probably look that up, but not right now, because I am playing. Um, I guess a ravine is usually something that goes way down to gold level or diamond level. And kind of is a surprise. This seems more like a big cave. But I'm excited about it. So I don't care. <laughs> Let me light that up. That's not a torch, that's gravel. Right, you can stay there. Stay there. I'm going to... Oh, my bar got all messed up again. Just block this off. And kill this. Zombie in gold armor is pretty awesome. I'm really afraid of things falling on my head. Now that that skeleton did that, and scared the crap out of me. And I see all these little entrances up here, and I'm just like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to get dropped on. In fact, I'm so scared that I'm not going to let it happen. I'm going to go up here and explore this from the top first. Because I know that this is up here, and where are you? Where are you? Oh. Whoa, whoa, glitch, glitch, glitch. That's not good. What's going on? Oh, I'll, crap, guys, I'll be right back. Once I check out my computer again. Sorry. Well, sorry for the back and forth and the in and out and the, the out and about or something like that. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to upload this video anyway, sort of as a, 
if anything, documenting my struggle here and hopefully asking someone for help. Um, I don't really want to be talking about my computer as much as talking about Minecraft, but I suppose while I'm just trudging along mining ore, I can. I built my computer in October, and this is the first time I ever built a PC, and it's really exciting and powerful and way cheaper and all the great stuff that happens when you build a PC. Thank you, Reddit, or build a PC. Um, but at the same time, it's a little scary when you try to troubleshoot something because you don't have anyone official to ask. So I'm going to upload this video even though I'm having some trouble with it. I know that's a little unprofessional, but maybe someone can give me some advice. I did play a lot of Minecraft regardless. It's not like I went back and forth video problems, video problems, video problems. So please, if you noticed what I was talking about with the glitches and you have a, a suggestion, something I can do to try to fix it, please let me know. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. A lot of people know way better than I do when it comes to computer things. I just wasted so many arrows. Oh, what am I going back here for? I what am I doing? I I got all lost, lost and confused. I forgot to reset my timer. I don't know how long this video has been recording. This is a mess. If my goal is to be a professional, high quality let's player this video did not meet the standard I apologize I, I didn't apologize you're never supposed to apologize but it's not my best work what is this spider doing now this isn't my computer this is just a glitchy what what do you what do you I oh that's not fair that's not fair that's not fair that spiders flying Spider, it's not flying spiders are not part of Minecraft. Oh, he dropped some equipment. That's exciting. That was gold, a lot of stuff. All right, let me kill this creeper. They really blow you back, like really a lot. Okay. Let me light up this here. Some more water. I should actually. I should get another bucket. Was there another lava around? I should get another bucket. You know, actually, I'm going to do that right now. No, I can't because I don't have any wood. I want to get two water buckets and make an infinite spring up in my little base. Just so that I don't have to keep finding water sources. But there's a bunch down here, so it should be okay. What's this? Is this outside? Oh, this is part of. Oh, hey, hey there. You're dead. You're dead. I just got XP before I killed that guy. Wow. Okay. A lot of iron. I actually didn't even finish. I left before I finished cooking the iron. There was a lot of it. Oh, it's double creeper. Why did I go in the water? That was the dumbest thing I could have done. Run away. Oh, this is scary. Oh, oh no. Oh. Really? Ah, well done. Well done, me. PVE expert. Oh, that's that's not... I don't want to go down there. I mean, I do, but not right now. This is a big cave. It's a twisty, windy cave. What is it? A twisty little passages all alike, as they say in that game. Journey? Is that what? No. Um, that's a classic game text adventure quote. A maze of twisty passages. I'm gonna just unblock this water. I just want to be able to see that this kind of is flowing. It's flowing down here. And not uh, surprise me again next time I, I come through. Here 
What is that? What the heck? Is that sound? I never heard that in this game before. Where is it coming from? It's right through this wall. Well, I think with that mysterious noise off in this direction, I'm going to conclude this episode. Thanks for sticking with me through the graphics problems. If you have any suggestions as to what I can do to fix that weird spiky glitchy thing, I'll point it out with an annotation in the video. If you have any thoughts as to what's going on, please let me know. I'd love to get that fixed. I'm going to ask some people. So, not all, all the pressure is not on you, the viewer, but I like to hear your thoughts about everything. So if you have any comments about what I can do better, I know I mentioned the audio fan issue and the brightness. Hopefully that's resolved this episode. If there's anything else, feel free to let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.